Hey guys, Allison here from Little Pinkies Up, cooking Beyond Nuggets with your small fry back with a fun activity for all of us homebound, homeschooling parents out there, um, trying to get through with some creative ideas to keep your kiddos busy, to keep them from fighting, and most certainly to keep them learning. So I'm sharing today a really fun activity that I found on another blogger's website called The Artful Parent. And she has these great, a great idea to use um, grapes and other types of fruit for these really fun artistic, architectural shapes, kind of creative play with food, and I love these. So um, you can really use any fruit that you happen to have on hand. Today I happen to have some extra blueberries and I had some green grapes. You could use red grapes, you could use strawberries, you could really use anything that would um, look like a building block. And you might have seen some of these done in the past with marshmallows or mini marshmallows or little candies. And honestly, as a parent, I feel like number one, they're not as stable with the marshmallows. And number two, how many marshmallows do you really want your kid eating at snack time? So I say if they want to munch on their treats and build something at the same time, grapes and fruit is a good option. So um, I wanted to show you here. So basically just toothpicks and fruit. And these are three examples of three very different children. So in my home, I've got a kindergartner who we were practicing her shapes today. So here is our rectangle. Here is our square, and here is our triangle right here. And then my uh, second grader here decided to make this really fun looking, unique little monster. I'm hoping I don't break this because they'll kill me if I do. Um, but you can see that we had actually a very interesting dynamic conversation this afternoon about physics because he was trying to put these, um, instead of using blueberries as antennae, he was trying to use these grapes, but they were too heavy. So we got a chance to talk a little bit about it. And of course I had to YouTube some video about physics, about load bearing weight and you know, all that. But again, we, we made it through and we're making it fun. Um, and then lastly, you can see here, this one was done by my fifth grader and it actually looks like a little giraffe. And it's really cute. She made even like a little basket like you might use if you were at a safari and being able to ride on him. So anyways, these are just fun ideas to give your kids um, something to do with their hands when they're having snack time that is creative, it's healthy, it's fun, and it's very, very accessible for all of us homebound parents. So stay safe, mamas and papas out there. We'll end this together and I'll be back with more tips for you.